For lack of a better word, there's something innately magical about opening a magic book for the first time. Knowing that within these pages contains some of the most guarded secrets known to magicians. To be able to stumble upon some method or effect that you've never seen before is incredibly exciting to me. As people, we can't speak the way we write, which is why we write speeches for people accepting awards and so on and so forth. Taking the time to sit down and write a book is a foolproof way of making sure your ideas are concisely and properly translated. Each and every book I begin reading spurs creativity within me. It allows me to see things from a new perspective in my mind. It allows me to see the effect the way my mind would see it, which might be completely different from the way the author has presented it. So in other words, if you want to get creative with magic and start thinking along the lines of a magician, reading will help you get there. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. Guys, ever since I can remember, I've been fascinated with magic books, with books about sleight of hand, card magic, psychology, hypnosis, all this stuff. And I've been collecting books, so today I'm gonna show you my collection and I'm gonna tell you which books are my favorite and if you're a beginner, intermediate, or expert, which ones to go to, which ones to buy first, and which ones to stay away from. I love book shopping, whether it's online or in real life or on eBay. I think there's just something super magical, no pun intended, about a book about magic. Magic literature goes back and dates back about 600 years. There is more literature in the art of magic than any other art form on this planet. So there are tons and tons of books for you to learn. I know you've heard this a lot, but the best stuff is in the books. It's hard to believe in this today's day and age with uh, the internet and everything so accessible with video downloads and videos and stuff. Fact remains that a lot of the really great stuff has already been invented and is already in print somewhere. You can go through these old books, skim through and find something completely amazing that'll blow your mind that could probably sell for $29 99 as a single download, but the book itself will cost you 50 bucks and you'll get, you know, 20 to 30 effects out of it. I like using this platform to get people who watch my videos to read books. It's kind of ass backwards when you think about it, but you come to YouTube to watch videos, not to read, and then you leave buying a book to read. Card magic books are usually not the most entertaining books to read. Most of them are boring, they're hard to read. How do you read a magic book? I would normally say if you're searching for an effect, uh, if you're searching for a method to an effect rather, you know, do your research, find the book that has that and look through it. That's usually how you go about reading a magic book. You don't read it from A to Z, because it's a boring read. Unless it's a book about psychology or methodology, anything related to magic that isn't necessarily like sleight of hand stuff. If you're willing to learn some knuckle busting moves or some really crazy effects, dive into a random book, pick a random page and start reading. Enough chatter. Let's get into my favorite books. I'll try to leave all the links below. Now, some of these are not available anymore. Some of these might be harder to find. You might find them on eBay. Some of them might be really expensive. Some of them might be dirt cheap. So I'll just leave them below. You do with it what you will. And let's get into it. Some of my favorite books that are really beginner for beginner magic, probably Royal Road to Card Magic, Expert Card Technique, and The Expert at the Card Table give really good foundation, really good fundamental skills in card magic and things that you need to know. So in these three books, you're gonna find a lot of routines that are either self-working, that are really easy to accomplish, and that'll still fool the pants off both magicians and laymen alike. They're very inexpensive. You can find Expert Card Technique, you can find Royal Road to Card Magic, and Expert at the Card Table on Amazon. I'll leave the links below. Those are super cheap, either in Kindle form or soft cover or hardback. It's up to you. The information is the exact same in either one. If you want to be a little fancy, you get the hardcover editions, and if you just don't care, just get the Kindle edition and read it while you're you're sitting on the toilet. Now let's get into the more, my favorite intermediate books. So one of my all time favorite magic books is this here, Drawing Room Deceptions by Guy Hollingworth. Guy Hollingworth is an incredible sleight of hand artist. In here, you're gonna find some really, really strong effects such as one of the cleanest and probably one of the best torn and restored card effects in print. You'll also find, if you checked out my voodoo download, uh, you'll also find the inspiration to the voodoo card trick in this. And what's really cool about that is that Guy put this
this in the sort of introduction, the preface of the book. And normally magicians will skim through the preface and get right to the tricks, and which is kind of tricky. So he put that in the introduction, knowing that most magicians will skip through and read over it. So one of the best effects in the book is found in the introduction. So guys, read everything. So you'll find a traveler's routine, you'll find uh, color changes, you'll find an oil and water, you'll find a very cool waving the aces. Now a lot of these are sleight of hand intensive, but if you wanna take the time to learn them properly, I suggest you do so because these will stick with you forever. And if you're interested in a little bit more advanced stuff, you'll find some gambling techniques and false shuffling, triumph, a card at any number, and the list goes on and on and on. What's included is some illustrations, so you'll get some really cool hand-drawn illustrations. So definitely check this out. Another great book was Bertram on Sleight of Hand. Now, Ross Bertram was one of the beasts of sleight of hand, an absolute beast in whatever he did. So in this, you're gonna get coin magic, you're gonna get card magic, and you're also gonna get general magic. So a lot of magic books are designed that way where it's not just focused on one type of magic, but the sleight of hand in here is incredible. Everything from fundamentals into very advanced stuff. Pictures are actual photographs, so you have actually Ross Bertram here uh, teaching everything. And so lots of different things, whether it's palming, whether it's switching, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of card tricks that you're gonna be able to learn or coin tricks uh, to fool your friends. So Ross Bertram on sleight of hand, a big thick book, lots to go over. This will probably last you for a few months of learning at least. A really good book and a book that's often overlooked is uh, Steranko on cards. This book has very lovely diagram. So again, they're drawn. You probably can't see that because the light's so bright, but they are drawn diagrams here. And there's a lot to go over as well. This is another one where you're gonna find not so much sleight of hand. You will find some slights, but mostly routines. So it starts off with the fundamentals. So you're gonna learn a, a really cool double lift. Then it goes into card controlling, and then it goes into palming, especially the lateral palm, which is a really difficult move. If you're comfortable with cards, this is a good way to sort of step outside of your comfort zone. Hard cover, pretty cool. And by the way, if you guys are asking, I've taken all the dust jackets off my books and I've put them away safely because I don't want them to be ruined. I kind of like the look of the book without the dust jacket. They've always got this cool art on it and cool vibrant colors, so just a personal choice. Tangled Web by Eric Mead. Now, this can be considered to be advanced. I like to, I like to stick it in the category of like hyper intermediate. Eric Mead is a stellar performer and creator. You might've seen him on Pet and Teller Fool Us. And again, uh, comes complete with hand-drawn illustrations. This is not only card magic, you're gonna learn coin magic, you're gonna learn all sorts of uh, really cool things. So Tangled Web by Eric Mead, I highly, highly recommend this book. But again, this is one of those general magic books where you will find sleight of hand with cards, but you'll also find it with coins, you'll find full routines, some mentalism, uh, really fun read, check it out. Another really cool card magic book is by the beast known as Dennis Bear. Now, Dennis is a giant, not only physically, but also with a deck of cards. He's from Germany. He actually owns like the biggest magic book archive online, which you guys can check out. Search Dennis Bear and you'll find that. So if you're looking for any reference of a move you came up with or think you came up with, anything like that, you can check this out and it'll give you all the references of the books that talk about that subject. And you can seek those books out yourself and then find out if what you create is actually original or not. So Handcrafted Car Magic Volume 1 and 2. This is Volume 1. Again, some really heavy stuff in here, but for the most part, an advanced intermediate card magic book. He's a very smart guy, very smart routining. Everything is justified. You'll learn everything from oil and water tricks to culling to packet tricks. Highly suggest this. Handcrafted Car Magic by Dennis Bear. Now let's get into the advanced stuff. If you're not already scared, this is where it gets a little bit terrifying. First is If an Octopus Could Palm. This was published by Dan and Dave. Really old book. I love the colors on this dust jacket is why I kept it on and the book itself is yellow. Uh, they put a deck out that came with this. I used to have it, but I gave it away. You're gonna find some really, really tough things in here. If the title doesn't already give it away, If an Octopus Could Palm. Actually, all the illustrations were done by uh, uh, Ricky Smith. Ricky out of New York. Ricky's an incredible a sleight of hand artist himself. Not the illustrations, these ones, but these ones here. Like, you get funny little pictures of octopus here. But this is some really, really crazy stuff. Like, undertow. Undertow is something that you'll see 
Uh, the most advanced sleight of hand card magic guys in the world perform this. I've been performing undertow, trying to perform, not actually performing, just practicing it. I know of like two people in the entire world who will actually perform it for layman. That's how hard it is. But this stuff is really fun to practice. Uh, treading is also a nice fun thing to do. So there's all sorts of little sleight of hand stuff that'll satisfy your sort of knuckle busting move monkey needs. You won't necessarily be performing anything from here, but if you're up to it, you can learn it and be the best at it in the world and probably be one of five people in the entire world who can perform uh, the things in this book. So this, I recommend, it's a fun read. The illustrations are great. If you can find it, I'll try to leave the link below. Um, if not, tough luck. Next up, one of the scariest sleight of hand card magic books in existence. It is uh, by Forces Unseen by Ernest Eric, written by Stephen Minch. This here is probably gotta be some of the toughest stuff out there. In the right hands, with the right amount of practice, it looks so clean. Here's the thing, so a lot of people will avoid these very difficult techniques and say, well, it's way too hard, I can do it with a double undercut, or I can do it with a top palm, or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then there are those like me who would argue that sometimes you need to put the practice in for something to look completely freaking clean. If you're willing to put the practice in for these moves especially, everything you're gonna do with a deck of cards is gonna look like a miracle. It's gonna be borrowed deck, everything looks clean with minimal movement, but there's a lot of sort of gears and cogs going on underneath, which I love. So if you want a good read and want to really test yourself and bring your magic to the next level, your card magic, check out this book by Forces Unseen, Ernest Eric. I'm not sure if it's available on Amazon, you can probably find it at Dan and Dave if they have it in stock, but uh, definitely hunt this out if you if you're interested. And lastly, my favorite very difficult book is Mnemonica Miracles by Juan Tamariz. Juan, who is the master of card magic. A Spanish magician, if you don't know about Juan, Google him, he's incredibly amazing. I won't talk about what's in this book too much because it is a book that is very highly coveted by magicians and is not something I wanna, I don't wanna teach anything in here, I use his principles all the time in a lot of my videos. Um, so if you're interested in learning and interested in really starting a journey uh, that will last you the rest of your lifetime, pick this book up. He also sells like a whole DVD collection, um, but I really suggest picking the book up. It's how I learned the techniques in this book. And I think it's just one of those things that will go down in history as one of the greatest magic books of all time and one of the greatest magic principles to ever exist. The things you can do with this book, if you're willing to put the time in and literally weeks and weeks and weeks just to get you started but once you're there all the other magicians are going to be here your card magic level is going to be here you're going to be able to fool magicians you're going to be able to fool laymen the best card magicians in the world use uh the principles that are taught in this book so definitely recommend this book so that's it for my top sleight of hand card magic books now i have so many books on mentalism, hypnotism, psychology, theory, uh, just general magic, coin magic, like anything. There's so many books out there to read. I thought I'd cover just the ones that talked about uh, card magic because a lot of you guys are into cards right now, especially if you're just getting into magic. You're just kind of delving into it. You need some good fundamentals. So definitely check out the first ones that I mentioned. And if you're willing to dive in, you know, grab a couple of the other ones. That'll keep you busy for a few years for sure. So again, I just want to talk about sort of how fun it is to read books, to collect books. Like I find myself going to bookstores, especially like old vintage bookstores where I found some really cool finds. I was in New York a few weeks ago and found this first edition, 1859 Robert Houdin memoir, which was all beaten up. I found it for like 40 bucks, probably worth a couple hundred bucks on eBay. I also found a first edition Tricks with Cards by Professor Hoffman, who is known to many as the sort of forefather of modern card magic. You know, Cards as Weapons by Ricky Jay, which is more of like a novelty book. He does teach some techniques uh, on card throwing, but more of like a collector's item. And I found that for like a hundred bucks and that's worth today about $1,200. So it's fun to always hop into these old stores or on eBay and just check out some books that nobody else is looking for. And then being able to go to a convention or showing your friends, something that is ridiculously simple, but that no one has thought of since it's been in print. And you're like the only one out of your whole social circle that knows about this effect. And that is a great feeling to be able to bring that to the table. Just buy a book, buy one of these ones I suggested, but also buy a random one, dive into it, pick a random page, and there you go. You'll be well on your way to, you know, fooling the pants off people. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was, it was a little bit lengthy. I did want to get into uh, more of these in depth. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if you like this type of video, if you want me to do this for other magic books or if you absolutely hated it and couldn't sit through it. And I appreciate the like if you guys wanna 
go ahead and like this video. That would be very, over here, that would be very kind. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel for more information on magic, performance, and we'll see you next time. Peace.